Hello, I'm Richard Clayton, Director of the Cambridge Cybercrime Centre. We are all about data sharing. We have lots and lots of data sets. We share them with other academics so that they can do research as well. Unlike many people uh, who write paper, collect data, write papers, uh, and then make the data sets available for other academics uh, after the fact, uh, we make data available day one up front and we collect data not just when we're working on papers but we collect it on what I call a production basis where we're continuing to collect that data over time even when we might have lost immediate interest in it ourselves. The original focus of what we were doing was cybercrime but for the last year or so we've been collecting extremist material, far right, incels, some jihadist material. And we do work on this data ourselves, uh, but uh, we also share it. And sometimes we share data which we haven't even looked at ourselves uh, because what we're about is sharing data. And what sort of data do we have? Uh, our best seller, if you like, the uh, data set which uh, most, uh, we've had the most requests for is CrimeBB, which is at the moment 92 million posts from various underground forums. Uh, and some of that data dates back to 2007 uh, and, we're, and that number is growing all the time because we are on a production basis, we are collecting it uh, so going forward so that people can work on it. Fastest growing data set we have is Extreme BB, uh, the extremist forums as I've just mentioned. Uh, the biggest data set is in fact an email spam feed which we get from a company called Abusix. Uh, and there, uh, one of our challenges is actually writing it to disk because we're seeing more than 3 million items a day. Uh, bubbling under uh, in terms of uh, relevance and interest are the uh, scraping we're doing of public uh, Discord and uh, Telegram chat channels. Uh, big focus here on uh, denial of service booters, uh, denial of service for sale, uh, but all sorts of other cybercrime and latterly extremist uh, sessions as well. Uh, we also have quite a lot of network data. So we've been uh, collecting uh, attacks or, and recording attacks made uh, using reflected amplified UDP uh, since uh, back in 2014. Uh, we see all of the packets coming into Cambridge. I can't share those because there are legal uh, and ethical reasons why I can't share the raw data, but we see, for example, Mirai and Mirai like malware scanning uh, the whole internet and Cambridge, so we get their packets, uh, and that is data which I can share. Uh, and I also collect uh, Mirai and Mirai like uh, malware, which goes after the internet of things. I've got uh, well north of 200,000 samples there now. And we also have all sorts of other exotica as well. Uh, so we've got a big collection of website defacements. Uh, we collect uh, Android uh, apps which are not from the Play Store. Uh, lots of people collected from the Play Store were collecting from elsewhere uh, and looking at the differences of interest. Uh, and we also have data sets from work we've done in the past on high yield investment programs or we collect data on domain names, uh, we collect data on uh, e or email coming in uh, with 419 scams from West Africa, etc, etc. So what's the process here? Go to our website, it's all set out, tells you the details, but fundamentally what you need to do is tell us what data you want, uh, the sort of project you're going to work on, uh, and then we will make up an agreement your university will sign that, Cambridge will countersign it, and then you are good to go. So, real message here is I have lots of data and I am not afraid to share it. Uh, the URL of our site is on the slide and our blog where we put all the cool stuff we do in Cambridge is like blue touch paper. Thank you very much.